If you search for Microsoft Whiteboard keyboard shortcuts on Google or Bing, the top link will take you to this web page. Now this has a full list of all different shortcuts that you can use when using Microsoft Whiteboard. Now it's a really long list, but spending five minutes looking through it, if you are a regular user of Whiteboard, you might find that you become a much more efficient user, saving you time. And you might find there's also a few things you didn't even realize you could do. Now I'm going to show you just three of these, which are the ones that I use quite a lot and I find really useful. So the first one, if I've got my laptop in normal laptop mode, I'm not using a stylus and I haven't got it folded away. So the keyboard's still there. If I want to draw a straight line, I find it's much easier to hold the shift button and then draw. And if I draw like that, it forces me to draw a straight line. I just let go wherever I want it to finish. Now, the alternative to this is using the ruler. The ruler works absolutely fine, but I find using the shift key is so much quicker than loading the ruler up. Now, the other two shortcuts I use a lot is if I've got an object, whatever it might be, it could be a group of words like that. It could be um, an image, whatever it might be. I'm regularly wanting to move it around. If I click on it, then I can use my arrow keys and shift it around. And I use this all the time. And this is something I love about whiteboard compared to a traditional whiteboard is moving things that you've done around. So you're creating more space if you're doing a mind map or something like that. It's really, really useful. So moving around with the arrow keys, the other thing is when you're in this position and you've got something selected, the final shortcut I use a lot is holding Alt and then pressing the arrow keys will rotate it. And that can be really useful. And I'll throw in one bonus one is if you hold Shift and then do the arrow keys, it's a way of quickly enlarging or reducing something in size. So I find that moving things around, rotating, enlarging, and the ability to draw a straight line all with keyboard shortcuts, I find makes me a much more efficient user and I find them genuinely quite beneficial.